everybody. Thanks so much for stopping by. This is Amy. I want to welcome you to my channel. Tonight I'm going to show you my version of an African Daisy. And I'm going to be using a number 12 filbert brush. Royal Aqualon, but you can use any that you have. A number 10 flat brush, plaid, one stroke brushes. Quarter inch scruffy brush. And then a Estonia fine line brush. It's one of my favorites, long bristle. And then a dotting stylus, which I love my dots. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Oh, haven't done the paint yet, I'm sorry. I'm going to be using pure orange, thicket, engine red, school bus yellow, happy green. I'm going to try to add in some wicker white because when I tried to do this originally, I couldn't get it to have the consistency and the um, coverage just wasn't what I liked. And then licorice. All right, let's get started and see if it helps adding some white into it. Basically, the flower petals are going to be the orange, the pure orange, with a touch of, of the red, but basically the orange and the white, just trying to, to get it to be a little bit more opaque. All right, so up here I'm going to start with a little, still looks, I don't know what, what the deal is here, but anyhow, it's still, it's not as opaque as I'd like, even with adding the white in here. And I'll just add a little bit of red periodically as I go. And the white. I guess that I really like for my painting to be opaque. And if you watch me, you know that really, really is important to me. I just like it better. All right, so then I'm going to do a larger bloom. And I like to do my my little crosses there, just to give me guidelines as to where my petals need to be. And again, I'm going to stick a little bit of red in here and white. Come up here. I don't want it to look like early Halloween, but and I'm just doing these strokes where I'm pulling from the side. I'm not using the brush going down like this. I'm actually turning it and pushing and pulling. I really would like to have these be a little bit darker. Why that bothers me so much, but it does. And you can make your petals longer if you want, like on these, if you wanted to make them a little bit longer. And you really don't have to go all the way to the center. You can leave a little bit of an opening if you wish. I'm going to pull this one through here. Alright, so then I'm going to go over here. And do my little strokes again. This just gives me some guidelines to follow. And pull these in. And like I said, you can make your petals longer if you wish. It also just depends on the space that you have to work in. Now on this particular item, this is a jar, good size jar. I've had it for so long I'm not really sure what the size is on it but I know that it's a large storage jar and therefore I have some good space to, 
for my design. But you know me, I gotta have my, I'm gonna go back over this, I think I like, like it with more of the white in it. But you know me, I like to have my leaves in here, so I have to leave, leave some room for my leaves. Because my leaves are important. You know, typically it would be more orange and red, but since I'm having a hard time getting the, the coverage that I really want, I'm not going to push it. Not pushing it. Alright, so then I'm going to come down, well, you know what, I'm almost making it look like it's a stair step here. I don't want to do that either, but I'll come up like this. And I can come in here if I want, put some more white in there. My orange, my pure orange. And you can actually do double double layers on this if you want. I think when I was doing the designer time I did a double layer on it, it just didn't look right. Just, just gave me another look that I really wasn't after. I said this is really not the look I was going for. Definitely a lot different than my design. <coughs> Excuse me. But this paint, I'm telling you, it's just being a bear to work with. Alright, then I'm going to come down here and just kind of do a little, a little guy down here. And you could actually give this some drying time and go back over it. But for the point of my video, really the, the design and painting technique is basically what you're interested in. So I just tip this into some red. I'm going to go in here and just go like that to put some red back into it. Again, this is not really the initial look that I was going for, but I'll take whatever I can get at this point. Kind of different. Pulling in the red. So by the time I get done, I'll either have all the paint pulled up or I will have it very opaque. <laughs> Who knows? Hopefully you get the gist though, right? the paint on my brush. Alright, so what I'm going to do next is tap in the centers. I'm going to use my my scruffy and go through. Now all my centers may be different sizes because it just depends on the amount of room that I had left open in the centers. So I want to make sure they are covered up. Like this one is a little bit bigger. And so is this one. But they're the, the larger ones, so that's okay. 
not too bad. And this one ended up being a little bit bigger than what I thought, so we'll, we'll make it bigger. And I'll just tap them in. It's, like I said, it's fine. Alright, so what I'm going to do is let that dry a little bit, and then I'm going to come in with my brush and load the, the green colors, which would be the Thicket and the Happy Green. And I'm going to start working on my, my leaves now. I might be adding a little white to them as well just to make them more opaque as much as I can. But on this I'm going to be trying to do just some rough edge, not a Christmas leaf, but rough edged leaves so they're not, I guess I could go up like this, they're not my typical you know, wiggly leaves. but I don't want them to be smooth leaves either. I guess I probably should hook it to a flower, right? And again, keep in mind, Amy likes leaves. So I'm basically just kind of wiggling it, not doing a typical wiggle that I would do for, a, for my little wiggle leaves. I'm trying to make the edges so they're not smooth. That's my intention. And you can do, you know, whether you want to do them down or up. So I'm just kind of going like that. And then repeating over here. Just kind of lifting up, just kind of going back and forth and in. And then put my little connection fine there. And like so I can go like this, start a V, or I can have them going down the other way. You could make them just one sided if you wanted. And you can go like this and connect them. If you need to put any more you know green into them, you can. I mean, they seem to be covering pretty well without adding a whole lot of white to them. So that's good. That's good. Alright, sorry for my phone chirping. Alright, I'm going to go like that. And then come in here, go like that. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those down below the video. If you attempt this design, I'd love to see it. Feel free to share it. And you can add other, other leaves too. You don't have to do this style or you can do this style and add, add different ones to it as well. I just don't like to get too crazy. I, mean, I like to get crazy with leaves, don't get me wrong, but I don't like to get crazy doing too many different ones because then that might be confusing. So, But this is fun just I said if I had had a little bit more time, I could fuss with the design more. Again, it's not really turning out to be exactly like what I had originally done on my design paper. But it's a lot of it's because the, the paint. I guess glass painting can be a little tough when it comes to getting the paint to look the way you want it. 
this on a little roughly. Grab that one again. Go down like that. Now also while you're doing this, if you want, you can be adding in just some basic, your basic single leaves. They're always good as, you know, filler leaves or just to add to your design. And you can, you know, fan out some green around your leaves. A little close there. Maybe just to give some more interest in your design. I'm basically right now into just showing you pretty much for the most part one style of flower at a time. I do on occasion mix mix some together so there's more you know it's more of an arrangement but I think it's easier if I just concentrate on one style of leaf as opposed to, or flower, I mean, as opposed to confusing you and adding way too many into a design. Unless it's something I'm putting together to sell. What I'm doing on these is I do reuse this glass. I um, erase, or not erase, but wash off the design so that I can actually keep using the glass piece until I get some of my wine glasses moving because I really do like to do the wine glasses I just feel like I don't have enough room to have a bunch of painted glass that's not selling but hopefully I've got some things going on that I'll whoops this bottom is curved, so I caught that wrong. Yeah, I can try to curve that a little bit so it goes along that instead of hitting it. And then we're almost done here. I still have to finish up a little part of the design. The flower itself. And I'm just pulling these little pieces of green out here. Just to, I don't know, help as a filler without really doing too much with it. I might want to put some of this in here. You can actually go over the other leaves too if you want to get too much paint on my brush. If you want to, you know, make it the where it doesn't look like they're just kind of sitting on top of another leaf, you know, like here. And make them move. You know, show movement. They can go over over the flowers, of course. But again, I'm just showing you what can be done. And like I said, you can keep filling it in. Put some more in the center here, just to make sure you don't, you know, make it don't so you don't look like you just have a bunch of flowers sitting here. And keep doing you mark said you, you I'm sure you get the gist of it all right for the last thing that I wanted to do just to finish this up well, actually there's a couple things let me go ahead and do one thing first one one thing that you could do with these and like I said if, if I'd gotten them to really be opaque and 
the way I really wanted them to look, uh, you go ahead and you take your liner brush and you pull, I don't know if you want to consider it like veining, but basically have, have your liner brush pull down, I mean clear down into the leaf, or not the leaf, but the petal, the petals. I'm trying not to, I guess I can go backwards here, but you know, trying to because they do do have some stripe striping to them. If you look at one of them, at least the pictures I were I was looking at, you. No, I'm sorry, my furnace is starting up. I know it can be hard to hear me when it does. So I apologize for that. I was trying to get through this before it started. And guess what? I didn't make it. But anyhow, that's something that you can do with it too. Uh, to add some interest into the petals. And you can go clear down to the, the bottom or towards the bottom of each petal. That would be good. Or you consider, you know, the way that the petals ended up being with the contrast with the colors, the purples and the, the yellow, or not yellow, but orange and white. That that would be considered the streaks. Okay, so I'm just doing these real quick. I would pull them from the center is how I'd pull it. You see really when you look at the glass right now it does kind of have some some uh, lines coming and I'm just doing it really quickly. I'm sure you can do them a lot neater. them out. Anyhow, you get the gist. I mean, it's not hard to do. The last thing that I would do to finish this up is take the yellow. This is the school bus yellow. I'm going to do it with this, the smaller part of the dotting tool on this particular stylus and go around the center of the flower and you, I'm not doing it real like I'm lining it up kind of deal. I am doing it like this where it's just kind of random. But I typically start off by going around the center. And I want it out too on the flower a little bit and into the center of the, the flower. And then come around here, do the same thing on each one. Yeah, you can do the little ones, big ones. Kind of intermix them a little bit. I'm going to just try to get this wrapped up. I hope you like this video. Again, I'm sorry that the paint really didn't end up working with me on this, but you just, you never know. You really don't. You never know till you start doing something how it's going to turn out. But I think it did okay. You know, it's not my favorite one. But, so you like some designs and then you there's some you love and some you don't. Alright, like I said, we're almost finished here. I appreciate you staying with me on this. And 
If you like this video, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe. And, you know, stay a while and look at some of my other videos. I have a lot of videos um, that you're welcome to stick around and watch. And here's the final design. And again, I hope that you like this design. Um, and give it a try. If you do, I'd love to see my, I do have my uh, Facebook page listed in, under my videos and you're welcome to share them on there and of course once the video is over if you would hit that share button that's underneath my video and share this on your social network with all your family and friends I would appreciate that as well all right well that's it for now and until the next video I will see you then have a good one